Welcome to another day in God's Word and the Alive Church Life Transformation Bible Discipleship Plan. These readings are accessible through Amazon Music and Alexa, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Find out more at AliveChurch.com. Our readings this week focus on spiritual gifts. I would discover and use my spiritual gifts. As a follower of Jesus, the Holy Spirit has gifted me for His divine purposes to build up and encourage the body of Christ. I did not choose my spiritual gifts. They are not something I earned. Consequently, I cannot take credit in any way for them. I am, however, responsible to prayerfully seek God's guidance in discovering and using them for His purpose and plan. When I use them properly, they serve the whole body of Christ. I will discover and use my spiritual gifts. Should I feel the temptation of pride in my spiritual gifts, I will remember that the Holy Spirit is the source of all gifts. They are not a source of pride, but a blessing to serve the body of Christ with humility. Should I feel the temptation to be jealous of the gifts of other followers of Jesus, I will remember that the Holy Spirit alone is the source of all gifts. God works in and through all believers in different ways using our gifts. He has given me the exact gift I need to serve Him, His church, and the kingdom of God. Should I feel the temptation to be competitive with other followers of Jesus with my spiritual gifts, I will remember the Holy Spirit is the source of all gifts. The gifts God gives are not designed to divide, but to unify the body of Christ. I will not devalue the gifts the Holy Spirit has given me, for to do so is offensive to the Spirit. My motive for using my spiritual gifts is serving God and His people. I will discover and use my spiritual gifts. I recognize that outside of the body of Christ, His church, I cannot successfully live the purpose God has given me with His gifts. He did not give me His gifts to be used selfishly or in solitude. I recognize my need for the rest of the body of Christ and their need for me. We are most effective when we use our unique and diverse spiritual gifts working together for the sole purpose of the mission of Jesus. In this way, my spiritual gifts unite the body of Christ. I will never allow my spiritual gifts to divide the body of Christ. I will instead remain focused on the one thing that unites us all, Jesus. I will discover and use my spiritual gifts. Now let's look at our Bible verses for day one as we talk about spiritual gifts this week. Day one, the topic is the source of gifts. We start with 1 Corinthians 12, 4 through 6. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. 1 Peter 4, 10. God has given each of you a gift from His great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. Now to the Old Testament, Judges 6.34. Then the Spirit of the Lord clothed Gideon with power. He blew a ram's horn as a call to arms, and the men of the clan of Abiezer came to him. And our memory verse this week, 1 Corinthians 12, 11. It is the one and only Spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides which gift each person should have. Every day we encourage you to ask yourself some questions about that day's reading. One of those questions is, what action will you take to apply this truth? Be specific. Providing these daily readings is a ministry of Alive Church in Tucson. Find out more at AliveChurch.com.